Lots of people have asked me how I came up with the idea of Boy in the Tower or how I started writing it and really it started off as a single picture, um, an image in my mind but one that was very much rooted in where I was working in Camberwell in South East London and if you read the story some of the street names will seem quite familiar to you. The picture was of a tower block, a tower block like the one you can see um, but it wasn't surrounded by dense city or roads and traffic, it was surrounded by trees, by nature, by jungle almost really. It got me thinking, how could that possibly be? And really that started me thinking about the story that led me to Boy in the Tower. Much of the story is planted on these very streets. I could see these scenes unfold on these very pavements and that really helped me to see exactly where they were happening. Also in Camberwell there's a fair few building sites, um, lots of spaces where buildings have been pulled down and work is being done and I suppose that got me thinking about how terrifying it would be if the buildings did start to fall and no longer were we left with the homes that we hold so dear but rather just piles of rubble and things not having such a permanence really. There's lots of places in Camberwell like this building that you can see which has always sort of piqued my interest. It's always felt like there was a story that needed to be told around these places um, but really it was that tower block, a tower block where a little boy lived, went to a school like this one, he could see the playground from his window, the planes going past in the sky. I've been lucky enough to work with the amazing children who live in Camberwell. So this is a story as much about the place as about them, I suppose.